College bound, I don't know, but big money bound for sure. The story behind the name Big Money Bound. So how I came up with the name Big Money Bound, it happened over a four-year period, like my four years in high school. That's how, that's how it all came into fruition, man. My four years of high school. So my freshman year at Santa Lucia's High School, man, that's why I did all my four years at. My freshman year, my first period class was an elective. You know, your elective classes, you and that with from ninth grade to 10th grade, from ninth grade to 12th grade, from freshmen to seniors, you feel me? So I'm in there with all the grades. And just so happened, I was in there with another cat that played basketball, I used to hoop back then too. He was in 11th, dude, that cat name was Horace. He was like the star and point guard of varsity basketball team, dog was the truth back then. So whenever he'd see me, I guess he knew me from hooping or whatever, whatever, you know. Whenever he'd see me, he'd be like, hey, big money, what's up? What's up, big money? I'd be like, what's happening, bro? But like, I hated that he called me Big Money, dog, because I was the opposite of Big Money. You feel me? I was the opposite. I was like, I'm broke. I'm wearing tall tees and reeves. That's back when everybody was doing red tall tee, the black NBA socks, or the black Reeboks and the red matching NBA socks that match the same color as the tee. So if you wearing a white tee, you got your white NBA socks on. You feel me? You wearing a yellow tee, cuz. You got yellow NBA socks and your white Reeboks. You just matching. I'm doing that. Green, green tall tees with the green NBA socks. Cause if you went to Santa Lucia's high school, you know, man, that's what I was doing. So I'm hating that big money shit. I'm hating it, but I'm, but he don't mean it like maliciously. He don't mean it like any bad way. So I'm saying, all right, what's happening, bro? What's happening? What's happening? Cause at that time, my auntie was like, I ain't have money for lunch. Cause my auntie had to like give me lunch money, bro, three dollars a day. You feel me? And now she gave me three dollars a day. She said, yeah, I ain't gonna, I can't give you no money to go out this weekend. Cause I don't give you all this money here. You feel me? You got to do that for me and everything. It's like, well, me and four other people. Now, that's a lot of money going around. So she like, I can't get no money to go out with now. So what I'm doing is, all right, that's cool. I'm holding on to that lunch money, and I'll use that money to go out with. Because that's when Atlantic Skating Ring was popping, the palace and all that. Yeah, that was like Atlantic Skating Ring. And you had, you had to be that because they had not. People been twerking. Cause I don't, this has been twerking since 16, 17. And you had to be enough. You had to get your little lap dance. So I had to make it that huh? So I, what I was doing, how I was eating was my ninth grade year, I had two PE classes back to back. I had a PE class that was first for like the function of life, like your hearts, your joints, your muscles, your body parts, how to eat carbohydrates when you eat carbohydrates when you work out, what type of fluids to drink to stay, to stay fueled up and all that stuff. Then I had my real PE class, which was the basketball class. So in between going from that fake PE, what I call fake PE, to a real basketball PE class, you got the people that came from their actual PE classes, they going to the vending machines, you feel me? Me and my dog Manny, we just ended up just waiting. We both had PE classes back to back. So they come to the vending machine, the soda's 20, the soda's 75 cents, and the snacks in the vending machine 75 cents. So you're gonna be left with it. You're gonna be left with a quarter of dog. You can't really use and you don't really need that, do you? So they're like, yeah, let me let me get that quarter, bro. No problem, man. No problem. You kind of like you, you kind of punking some people, and you kind of asking some people. Some people say, "Nah, get back, man." So you trying to rack, rack up that seventy five cents to go get you a honey bun? Cause ain't nobody going to no soda for this. We got the water fountain right here, and my dog Manny, he was going straight to the honey bun machine. That nigga nickname is Honey Bun Man, so he was going for them honey buns. So that's basically how I, how I ate, bro, from ninth grade to tenth grade. Cause them honey buns, man, that kept me up. Them they call jumbo honey buns. They probably still got them out. Them jumbo honey buns saved me, dog. So. I'm doing that my ninth grade to my 10th grade year. I kind of elevated it my 10th grade year when it came to the dressing because Monty started giving me like $100 a month as allowance. Now you got to make this $100 stretch if you're smart. Now you you got to make a $100 stretch for me because I'm going to get some Jabos. You feel me? I'm getting a pair of Jabos. That was like $80 a piece. So now I got $20. So this month I'm going to be hurt, but I'm going to make it back next month. You feel me? So I'm using that $100 buying me some Jabos. Now I'm wearing tees with the Jabos and I'm wearing reeds, you feel me? So I'm kinda I'm kinda with the what's happening, because everybody was wearing that's when Jabo came back, Jabot came back hard. So I'm kinda like into what's going on, you feel me? But I still couldn't get like what I wanted, you feel me? So you know, I can't go like how many people for it. Like, bro, they ain't I can't do that for you. I can't buy them J's that cost 150. I I want them J's, bro. I'm 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 in, I'm in freshman, I'm, a, I'm it's my freshman year. I come to school, everybody got the same J's on them. It was the Cardinal Sevens, bro. The Cardinal Sevens, man. Everybody got the same pair of J's. I'm like, why the hell everybody wearing the same shoes? I'm like, bro, y'all, y'all straight? What the hell wrong? You must have called me and said you can go get this, the Jordans. I ain't know people was rocking J's. I ain't know nothing about no release dates, nothing about no retro. I ain't know nothing about none of that. Now why was you wearing the same J's? 
Then I go in, I go into the hallways of the school, bitch. Everybody doing. I'm like, oh, okay, I see what's going on, dog. I gotta get into this loop, dog. So I couldn't wait to get my get me some Fetty, bro, and really get the get my J's on point, get my get my dress code. Now I couldn't wait to get up that boy. And that's exactly what I did once I got to 11th grade, dog. Once I got to 11th grade, man, my dog was still there when I was in 10th. He still see me, what's up, big money, what's up, big money. But I ain't, you see me, I ain't got it, but I'm saying, what's happening? Now I get to 11th grade, I finally don't got some fetic. I finally got a real job. It wasn't my first job, it was like the real job. My first real job, I was making like some real fetic. Because you in high school, you getting over $700, $600 every two weeks. Because you getting some fetty now, you doing your thing. So every pair of J's that drop, bro. I ain't miss now pair. Every pair of J's that drop, bro. I'm out there, man. And I feel like the school was trying to hold me down because once I got my fatty up, now, that, now we got to wear dress code. Now we wearing collar shirts. But when I ain't have it, it was, well, what you want to wear? But now that I got a little fatty, oh, we got, we got to wear collar shirt on. You, you can have stripes, whatever, but it got to be a collar shirt. So I got creative on because I'm getting the fresh J's. Then I'm, 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 I'm writing like embroidery messages on my shirt, cuz. Ordinary person, but I'm paid. I'm writing boosy lyrics, cuz. Plies message. Big money and plies. J's on my feet so you know my money stretch. You feel me? I'm writing plies lyrics on my, on my shirt and all that, cuz. Came up like a missile and be clean as a wolf. I'm writing whole crazy stuff, man. I'm really embracing this whole big money thing. Because that was like at the same time, my favorite rapper, Lil Boosie, he had dropped the song, Big Money, I like it. I used to have hoes who trifling dirty shell toes and Nikes. It wasn't exciting. I didn't like it till I got money. I got icy. Hoes got right. They got feisty. That's exactly what happened. Dog was rapping my life. I don't got my fatty up. I got some income coming in. I don't got my girl. We know we handling business. I got other women coming for me. I got people on my space, girls on my space going back and forth, beefing about who go with me, who doing this, who the one that. It's grown women coming from me. I'm like, bro, grown women coming from the outside of school. I was just like, bro, I'm really embracing this whole big money thing. I'm really like, bro, I'm I'm him. I'm doing it, cuz. Every club, every spot is going down. We had a football game when I'm in the middle of the crowd streaming like, big money. I like it. Like, I was really embracing it, you feel me? And at the time, that's when they had the text messages. You had your signature on your phone. My signature was big money. My MySpace was big money. That's when I was telling you had the Bluetooth cell phone. You had the cell phone that had Bluetooth. So if you want to send me like a, um, a ringtone at the time, when I was doing like ringtones, you got to connect to my Bluetooth and send it to my Bluetooth name. So my Bluetooth name was big money. You feel me? So everybody was like, and once you call yourself something for so long, bro, everybody's going to jump on to, okay, big money. Yeah, that's him, big money, big money. It's like you see me now, they say big money bound. So everybody started notifying you with big money. So I was kind of embracing that. But then... You know, you start, you doing your thing. Well, you, you know, you a jit, you get a dollar. That's a lot of money. Then you get five dollars. You're like, damn, this five is more than that one. I'm, I'm really on. Now you get that five, that five ain't really nothing. You get, you make it to a hundred dollars. That hundred, I'm rich now. But then that hundred ain't really nothing. I mean, Monty gave me a stack of those school shops when it come. I see you. She gave me a stack. I'm thinking to myself, bro, I'm finna go get crazy. I'm finna go buy all the fits, all the J's. Man, I bought three or four fits, cause shirt, pants, and shoes. Cause that money was gone. I'm thinking, cause. Like, this ain't no big money, cuz. This ain't no big money now. I got plans to go get big money, so I'm kind of big money bound. But I didn't coin the phrase yet, but I was thinking this to myself like, I gotta go, I'm, I'm on my way to get money, but this ain't no big money, man. So hold up, hold up. That's around the time I had, I'm going to this senior year now. I had quit, I had quit playing basketball, cuz. Cause I was just playing basketball with hopes of making it to the league and taking care of my family. Once I seen that, that wasn't gonna happen, cuz. I was riding the pine and this and that, but I'm, bro, I'm missing money coming out here, dog. Get, I'm gone, bro. I get in the game, coach, and hey, man, just run the plays, get everything right. Coach, I got you, dog. I get in the game, cub, get out of my way, bro. I'm shooting crazy shit. I'm shooting shots. Bro, I ain't got no business either. I'm throwing the ball this way. I ain't even supposed to be shooting these shots, but I'm trying to make it out. I'm trying to get people out of this situation, cuz. So I just quit the team because that shit won't happen, man. And then what I did after that, the same thing everybody else do where I'm from. It's athletics or entertainment. So the athletics ain't work. It's just time to be a rapper now. I went to rapping. My rap name was Rando. And what I did was around the time I was rapping, it was my senior year, I started rapping. And that's why that's something like that's having all the colleges come meet up with the seniors, tell you like what's your college options, what's your career goals, career day and all this stuff. They're saying had a couple of recruits from college come in and say, Yeah, you, you can go to FAU, FSU, FAMU. This school costs thirty thousand a year, forty thousand a year. I'm like, whoa, that's thirty, forty, hold on. Hey, hey, I ain't, I ain't, we ain't got that one from dog. Thirty, forty. Hey, like, hey now. 
all you guys are college bound and all you guys are college bound. I'm like, hey, college bound, I don't know, but big money bound for sure. I said that out loud because one of my, somebody in my class actually started laughing. I'm like, cuz, big money bound for sure. And since that day, man, big money bound, I stuck with it. I mean, I was, I've been on that phrase since then. Big money bound. My 12th grade year, San Jose High School, dog, language, art clock, language arts class. I think his name was Mr. It was something, dog. Big money bound for sure. I was on that junk since that day. That's when I started rapping. I was doing rap and I'm like, big money. Get big money. That's what I do. Stand some shit that's brand new. It make females holla. I like it. Keep my bitches in check like Nike. 175 just for the spits likes and I want more stikes. I ain't looking for new friends. I'm straight for the niggas I got. Mess around with you want to be gang so the niggas go get me shot. So I was really embracing the whole big money bound thing now. Because I realized what I was doing, that wasn't really big money, but I, it was like hood, which I thought I was, but it wasn't really nothing. So I took the name that somebody gave me and I ran with that. Okay, I'm big money. I'm big money. I really embraced it. I really came into it. Like, I'm big money, not for real, for real. No, I'm going to represent. Nah, dog ain't even at school no more, but I'm going to really hold it down for this big money shit. Then I realized, well, I ain't no big money, man. But I am big money bound. So I took it from what somebody else gave me and turned it into my own thing. Now I'm big money down and I ran with that. Cause so I don't graduated high school. I graduated high school. I ain't even in. I graduated high school. I had I had gave up on the whole rapping thing because I'm watching the DMX. I mean, I'm watching the DMX interview. I mean, I was rapping like a year. Girl. I rapped a year, dropped the mixtape, sold my mixtapes for three dollars a piece. I'm out there. I leave my job. I go straight to the Walmart. I'm outside the Walmart cut. Twelve o'clock at night, bro. One o'clock in the morning trying to sell me CDs, bro. Three dollars, three dollars. Now, when you hear somebody say three dollars for a CD, you're like three dollars? Shit, I'll get three for the CD. Now, you do three times two hundred. I don't make some fatty. And it's all like entrepreneurship fatty. So I was like, this shit could probably work. Now, I'm watching the DMX and if your dog said, yeah, man, I rapped for 13 years before I seen a dollar. You, you, you did what, baby? 13 years? Who my mic in there? I'm done with it. I was done with that rap shit. When I heard y'all say that, cause I ain't got no damn 13 years to wait. I ain't know. I'm broke. I'm straight. Cause you can have it. You can have it back, man. Now my last option, all I could do from that was go to the schoolhouse. So I enrolled into school. You feel me? I didn't go straight into college after I graduated high school. I went in. I graduated in '09. I went in, in the spring of 2010. So I had already missed a semester and everything. Cause so I just go sign up and apply. Like yeah, I attend school. Whatever. I'm in there doing the same thing I was doing at the high school. Cause Getting fresh, trying to get women, you feel me? But I'm still on the whole big money bound thing because I know this ain't the real money. I'm trying to go get some real money doing my school thing. But I'm playing around. Bro. The first two years, I'm playing around, man. Where I'm from, bro, ain't nobody graduate no college. Ain't nobody got no four-year degrees. I'm the first one with a four-year degree in my immediate family. Four-year degrees? I don't get that one from. People go to college, you sign up, yeah, and you just want to, yeah, you just want to learn now. Yeah, you, you, you keep going, keep going, keep going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I just go on about it. And nobody say nothing because you just start working. That's just what happened. So I wasn't really thinking I could. Finish hot finished college. That's so how I ran into I ran into Shawk, man. Shawk graduated after me, came to the college, graduated before me, transferred to FAU and graduated again before I graduated once. I'm like, damn, hold on now, hold on, hold on now, hold on, baby. This can really happen, girl. And I really took that big money bound thing serious. I really said, like, I can really get to this big money for real, for real, by messing with this schoolhouse. I seen Shawty graduate once. I seen this family out there screaming, winning, crying, screaming, yeah, yeah, congrats, and clap. I'm like, girl, I want the same thing for my family. I want my family to be proud of me just like this. I went home that day, man. Signed up for them summer classes, bro. 2012. I was on school serious ever since then. That big money bound. It's been a way of life ever since, bro. And it's like, it's a never ending journey, man. But that's a whole nother video of like what the word big money bound actually means and what it represents. Because I don't want nobody thinking it means you get a couple dollars, you go to the script club, throw this, drink whiskey, smoke weed, and I ain't that what you do to live your life. But it ain't really about that, bro. It's more like you got people looking up to you and you can motivate people. You can really like motivate somebody that's looking up to you. Because all I do is I look up to people. That's why I know it's kids looking at me. I know it's even adults looking at me, cuz. And all I say was, bro, all I did was go to school, bro. Because where I come from is either. Athletics entertainment. No, you can really go to the schoolhouse right down the street, bro. The chance of graduating Palm Beach State College when I went, it was 68%. The graduation rate is 68%. Now it's like a 32. But it was 68% back then. The chances of making it to the league was 1 in 10 million. Which, which odds were better? Okay, I'm going to go to that school. Behind it, dog. And that's what I did, man. But thanks for checking out my video, man. I'm going to be dropping more videos. 
More big money bound stuff coming up. More merchandise coming out. Hit the website. I got the link in my description down there somewhere. Maybe it's somewhere.